Hey guys, we're playing Pokemon again. We're gonna go towards Route 3 and then Mount Moon. There's a couple Pokemon I want to catch here. Um, Jigglypuff and both Nidorans. Now, the Nidoran male is a 1%, so that's gonna be pretty hard to get. But hey, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And also, we're gonna, of course, farm these uh, trainers for a little bit of cash here. Oh, this guy saw me Viridian Forest. Another bug catcher. Bug catcher Colton. And of course, we're extremely overleveled right now, so we're definitely gonna wipe through these guys. I'm not gonna even bother using Water Gun. I don't think I'll need it. Maybe. Maybe I do need it. Okay, well, that's fine. Not a big deal. There we go. Alright, I will use Water Gun on the next one just because, you know. Hey, I'm tr you know, I got a life to live here. I'm trying to go fast. Can't learn. Oh, bite. Okay. Mm, for bite? Yes. Let's go ahead and remove withdraw. Yeah, I don't need withdraw. And poof. War Turtle forgot withdraw and learned bite. Cool. Now my, my War Turtle can just bite other Pokemon. It's pretty epic. Alright, Weedle. How much is Bite? Um, it's a dark move. Chomp. Okay, that works. I didn't know he learned Bite at level 19. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, so... But, yeah, I didn't know he learned Bite. Chomp. Cool. Alright. 120. Not too much, but just enough. Alright. Um, let's go. I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Okay, man. I'm glad you like your shorts. Youngster Ben would like to battle. Alright, Radita. He's definitely got a top tier Radita. For sure. Alright, does Bite do it one? Just one? Cool. All right. Um. Oh, I'm like spamming away. Oh, let's just do that. All right. Let's go ahead and just use another bite. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, we haven't seen an Atkins before. That's pretty interesting. bit more money. There's a lot of trainers on this route. But hey, uh, we're gonna need that money for Mount Moon, so that's understandable. Oh, he's got four. Alright. Well, we gotta go through all of them, so let's do this. I'll start using Water Gun. Let's just speed it up a little bit. And I'm reading the description for Route 3. Keep pressing that. I never do want to switch. Water gun. Okay. Kakuna. Well, that's not going to help you much either, now, is it? Yeah, let's use another water gun. Yeah, a lot of these battles are pretty repetitive, just because. I'm just gonna keep using Water Gun again and again, you know? Metapod. Okay. Here we go again. Yeah, so this one... Nidoran is a 1%, man. I know I can trade for it later, but... I kinda wanna play this game by catching every single Pokémon on every single route. So I don't know. I, I might stay here until I get until I get it. All right, well, let's fight all of them. Cause we need the money. The look you gave me—it's intriguing. All right, lass. Two Pokemon. All right, come on. Let's get it over with. Another water. Quick attack. Oh, that's not gonna do much damage though.
Okay. Nidoran. This is the one that I... No, that's not the one that I want. I mean, both are cool, but I, I really like Nidoran male. There we go. Be nice. Well, I'm trying to be. I like to think I'm a nice person. Alright, we only got a few more battles left. Only a few. I think there's two more down there. Alright, come on. How much do you got? Two? Okay. Caterpie. What's all these bug catchers? You guys haven't caught anything cool? Just bugs? Also, who likes... I feel like... Who actually likes bug Pokemon, you know? Like, out of all of the types, you know... You even got, like, your Pikachus and... Your Pidgeys and monkeys, and you choose bugs. Seems a little weird to me, but I mean there are like a couple cool bugs, but they're pretty rare. You know, you got your Scyther, you've got um, Scyther. Can't even think of another cool bug at the moment. All right, kid. <laughs> I'm not wearing shorts. He's right, I'm not wearing shorts. Maybe there is something wrong with me. Alright, he's only got one. Alright, youngster Calvin. Oh, he's got one juicer. He's got one big Spiro. I don't think I'll... I still think I'll one-shot it. Yeah. It was probably pretty close, though, but... Okay. Lost, lost, lost. Hey. He gave me one more Pokeball. Sadly, now we do have to walk all the way around just because we have to do that battle, but... Alright. We've got one more battle with this dude over here. Sorry. Woman. And then we'll just circle around in this grass until we basically find what we need. Ooh, okay. Another Jigglypuff. One Pokemon person. I love these because it's just like free money. Alright, Water Gun. I know this thing is like, not like the final boss, but I'll- Ooh, and it- Ooh, wow. This is a much harder fight than the rest of them so far, you know, it's- It's high HP, it's a Jigglypuff, it can disable, it can put me to sleep. So that's definitely like the final boss of the route, you know? But, not like it'll stop me. That's it? Alright, here comes the boring part. We are going to be roaming this piece of grass until we get a Jigglypuff and... Oh, Jigglypuff! Okay, well, it's a 10%! We hit the 10% right away. Look at that. Alright, well, of course, I do not want to kill it. Why don't grab our Pikachu out? Hopefully, we can get it low with the Pikachu. You sing? Aw, oh, don't put me to sleep, dude. throw Pokeballs even while asleep. Because a trainer throws them, right? Not the Pokemon? Not like it matters, right? Alright, but I hope this doesn't take too many, because again, the, the, the cash flow isn't crazy right now. Let's go. Alright, first encounter, and we hit that 10% already. Which is pretty good. When its huge eyes waver, it sings a mysterious, soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Nope. Alright, so far so good. Now we just need the Nidoran female 14 and Nidoran 1%. Oh, there's the Nidoran female. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... Ooh. Gonna use Tackle? Growl? Okay, that's fine. Let's see how low we can get it. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch out... Let's switch up to Pikachu. Right, let's go Pikachu. Level 3. He ran you Scratch. That's okay. Ooh! Static Paralyzed. That's amazing. That's exactly what I needed. Now, please do not kill. Please do... Oh, I'm asleep. Okay. <laughs> God, I was gonna say, please do not kill it, but... Okay, that's fine. So we... <laughs> Even after we catch the Jigglypuff, it haunts us. 
Alright, perfect. I just need one. Don't kill. It didn't do anything! Oh no! Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, let's pull out Mankey. Let's see what Mankey can do. I just need you to hurt it a little bit. Okay, that's not good. How? Oh, dude, you're paralyzed! It's, it's like, almost not even paralyzed. It hasn't missed yet. Let's just get it to the yellow. Ooh, a critical. Okay, that's... Well, maybe we can get it to the red. Ooh, poison point. Paralyzed. Okay, that's actually exactly what I needed it to. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now we can probably get it to the red here. Alright, one more. We need to hit it one more scratch and we'll be good. Okay, I was gonna say, if it crits right there, dude, I'm gonna be pretty mad. By mad, I mean like, oh well, let's try to catch the next one. Alright, but it's paralyzed and low health, so really, there's no reason why we can't catch this right here. In no world would this ever escape, right? Alright, cool. So we got the we caught the two rares. We caught the Nidoran female and Jigglypuff. So we just need to get uh, the male. Although small, its venomous barbs rendered its Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna head back to town, heal my Pokemon. All right. Let's go ahead and keep looking for that Nidoran male. One percent. So it's probably gonna take a while. <laughs> what? I see that. Wow, that is extremely lucky. This is a 1%. Alright. Wow, that... Okay. Um, That's a clip right there. Like, hey. The only thing crazier would have been if it was somehow shiny. That, now that would have been the luck of a lifetime. Alright, well that's all we need. We That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. That poison's gonna hurt me a lot, isn't it? Is that gonna kill me? No. Okay, it's in the... Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Ooh, okay, well it's dead anyway. Yep, let's go ahead and put out War Turtle. Just so we don't have Pokemon just constantly dying. And, you know what? I have six, right? I'm good. I could probably waste, like, three. One, two... Don't even need to waste them. Nidoran male. Okay, now this is a Pokemon that I will be leveling up. It stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful it secretes venom. Nope. And I think it's that, okay. So that one's gonna be. So we're gonna. You know what? We're gonna go right now back to town, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in our um, Pokemon. So that's something that I'll probably be using the rest of the game, although I can't promise that. Um, I still haven't really thought about my final lineup, but um, it's mm, yet. I, this might be blasphemy to say it now, but Blastoise might not even be in my final lineup. I might end up just switching out Starmie for Blastoise as the water type and calling it calling it a day. Um, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, so storage. Let's go ahead. And we're gonna go ahead and deposit Nidoran female. Um, we really don't need Jigglypuff right now. And I'll keep Mankey because I do like Mankey. Let's go ahead and withdraw. We'll go ahead and withdraw Nidoran male. Yes, Nidoran male. And we'll leave that last slot open. See ya. Hmm, I might go to an earlier route and just very, very quickly train up Nidoran and Pidgey a little bit. So I feel like they need it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now.
Okay, so we can learn quick, quick attack. So let's go ahead and learn that and then we'll probably get rid of Tail Whip here. Quick attack will be pretty cool for, you know, when we want to kill something quickly. So that's pretty good. All right, so just a very, very quick update while I'm talking. Um, this is what we're looking like. Pikachu's at 11, Pidgey's at 11, Nidoran is at 10, Wartortle's at 21. Only Mankey's at 2, so I'm going to go ahead and train up Mankey until 10, and then we can get moving. So that's kind of the... Okay, guys, let's go ahead and go into the Pokemart here. We have a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and buy four Pokeballs. Um, and probably an escape rope. We won't need the repels because honestly, it's just free levels, really. Um, but the escape rope might be handy in case, like, we're, like, stuck stuck. And then in that case, I don't want to lose money by dying, so... An escape rope might be useful. Okay, well then, let's go ahead and head over to Mount Moon. Oh, and I guess just a really, really quick, once again, showing of the Pokemon. Um, okay, that is not what I wanted to go to. I got everyone to here, so Mankey is 10, Pikachu, Pidgey, and Nidoran are all 11, and Wartortle is 21. Let's go ahead and stick Wartortle in the first slot, and we can go ahead and continue on with our adventure here. Um, I don't know what this kid wants, but... Phew! Better take a rest. The tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Okay. Um, Route 4. Okay, so there is actually a new Pokemon on this route. There is a Sandshrew, which I definitely... Ooh, that's a Boulder Badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. He's not just tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Um, there's sh We should be able to get a Sandshrew here. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon Geodude. The real question is where? Oh, does Route 4 extend past Mount Moon? Okay, well then we'll have to get the sand shrew after. Let's go ahead and enter Mount Moon. And here I'll be able to get Zubat, Geodude, Paris, and Clefairy. So actually four new Pokemon just in this area here. Okay, so there's a lot of new Pokemon here for us to catch. All right, Paris, that's a 5%. We're getting pretty lucky with these odds, not gonna lie. Right, let's try not to kill it. Oh. That was almost close. All right, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Let's just hope we can get it the first time. Yeah, a 5%. The only way we would've got luckier is if we hit the Clefairy. And we got the Paris, okay. Here we go. Making our way up in the world here. Burrows to suck trees, roots, the mushrooms on its back row by drawing nutrients from the bug host. Nope. All right, well, we got one of the rare Pokemon already. It's Bullet Seed. Okay. Zubat, okay, well, we're gonna see a lot of these, so um, better prepare myself. Okay, just killed it outright. Well, maybe we can get a higher level Zubat that we don't just kill outright. Okay, but first we got a battle. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Probably suspicious. Alright, what do Kent? Alright, Kent. What do you got? Weedle, Kakuna? Alright, man. Water gun. Let's go ahead and just take care of him here. Um, Kakuna. Level 11, so not tough at all. Get him out of here. Okay. 
All right, is there an item above you? Yes, there is an item above you, but first, Pokemon. All right, Zubat. All right, well, let's just keep tackling them until one of them doesn't die. Let's see, they can go, they can become between level seven to 10, so we'll just have to hit a level 10. Ooh, a Paralyzed Heal, okay. Once we hit a level 10 one, we'll be fine. First, another battle. Okay, what do you got? I think she's only got one, right? Yep, Clefairy. Which, level 14, it's a little higher, but... Still another thing we can't take care of here. Ooh, wow, high... Pretty high special defense. Interesting. Well, we're gonna... Hopefully it doesn't sing us. Don't... Oh, encore? Okay, that's fine. Isn't that just gonna lock us into the move we just used? Which, that's... Yeah, that's not gonna cause me any problems. Thank you, Clefairy, for telling me what move I was gonna do next anyway. Level 22. Here we go. There defeated last Iris. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that, just so I can kind of... A look at where I'm going here. Okay, so there's one ladder there. But there's a lot of other stuff I want to gather. Okay, Geodude. And he's, this is a 25%. And this one, I'm pretty sure I won't kill with Tackle. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a rock type, so. Mud Sport. What is that going to do? Is it less accurate? Electricity power. Okay, well, it's a good thing I don't have a Pikachu out. Well, that's not gonna hit too hard. Nope. Oh, eh, I kind of wanted it into the red, but that's not that's not a big deal. Um, we can go ahead and just use a Pokeball here, and let's pray here that we don't have to waste too many on it. There we go. All right, so we caught Geodude, Paris. We just need the Zubat and the Clefairy. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders. People often step and trip on them. Alright, cool. Uh, Geodude's another contender for um, our team. I don't think it'll end up making the cut, but it's definitely in the contenders. Zubat? Come on, give me a level 7. I need a high level Zubat. I mean, I could just try to straight up just chuck a ball at it and call it a day, but... You know, I don't know if I want to do that. Ocean. I guess we could defeat a couple of these trainers up here. All right, don't <laughs> don't sneak up on me. Oh my bad. How many Pokemon you got? Two. Okay. Magnemite. Okay. First time we see one of those in the game. Let's go and use a water gun. That should be pretty effective. I think it's like. Wait, was Steel a type? In this game, might it, that might just be electricity. All right, let's bring out Nidoran. Let's get let's let's get some levels going for Nidoran, huh? Voltorb, that's another new one. Okay, probably do a peck. Tackle, ouch, not really. Ooh, we're, neither are very effective. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and bring Wardle back out, and we can get some XP. Is it gonna self-destruct? Okay, I'm like, don't self-destruct. That would suck. Right, let's go and use water gun. Critical hit, nice. And then that way our Nidoran gets a little bit of levels going. There we go. Okay, so there's one more trainer, two items, and then we might call it a day after that. Let's go ahead and defeat these trainers real quick. Right? Oh, he's got three. Okay. Let's get comfy here. This man has a lot of Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get comfy. Honestly, we could probably bring out our Nidoran here. Um, but maybe we will bring out the Nidoran. Caterpie? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring out Nidoran. Let's try to get us some levels, huh? Sit up Caterpie. 
I need I need to get it like a I need to get it a better move than Peck. But oh, the Nidoran's pretty good against bugs, so maybe this is a good one to bring out for right now. Super effective. All right, a lot of XP. Here we go. We're making moves. Nidoran learned double kicks. Okay, that's a good move. That'll help. No, because again, Peck is very good. so. Double, double kick will work a little bit better because it's also a fighting move. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Maybe not good. All right. Back, back to um something else then. Let's go ahead and switch Pokemon. I'm gonna bring Pikachu in. Pikachu can use Thunder, and that might be able to kill us a tiny bit quicker. And if not, we'll bring back in War Turtle and just call it a day here. How much are you gonna do? Ooh. Oh, it almost killed it too. Just harden. Alright, well hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this opportunity. Um to bring in Paris. Why not? Get you some XP. Yeah, let's get Paris some XP. While we're at it. What do you got? Scratch? Yeah, let's use Scratch. It's only, it's probably only got like a single HP left, so this will be good. Bang. Yep. Alright. All of them gain some XP. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead. There should be two items. And we'll also get a couple encounters here, so... Ooh. Counter first. Geodude. Okay, we already have one of these. We're gonna go ahead and just basically blast through them here. Bonk. Super effective. My first item, a rare candy. Ooh. That one we're saving for a long time. First, we're gonna definitely save that one for something special. Ooh, an escape rope. Okay, that's like 550 at the store, so. Alright, let's try to get a few more encounters. And then we'll probably end off the episode. Alright, just do me a favor and don't kill it. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly where I needed it to be, actually. Leech life? That's not good, actually. Um... I'm gonna use Thunder Wave, just to paralyze it, make it a tiny bit easier to catch. Use Astonish. Okay, Astonish is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and throw out a ball. That should be a pretty easy catch. And then next episode, we'll focus on getting that Clefairy and finishing out the rest of Mount Moon. But I feel like this episode, we caught a lot of new Pokemon just this episode. Because we went through Route 3 and Mount Moon. It forms colonies, a perpetual dark place, and uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Um, and we'll, we can go ahead and finish the rest of Mount Moon later. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please click in the comments for the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.